So my company was beginning that we were two students running a two for the level of that is. So this case is how you would run if they are not there are a couple other ways to deal with it, but there's a specific um, case. So today we're making a minute experiment. I'll just give it a minute and we'll work on it. Uh, I did a lot of experimental analysis as a pair. So one of the things that I did was I would have form crop data. Um, I would have we they would have marked whether he had a disease or did not have a disease and what type of disease it was. Um, so we then have one group and we have a bunch of different types of corn in each group. Um, and then it was sprayed with our insecticide or not sprayed. Or another example was I, I, it would be uh, seed actually contained the uh, material that may bug not want to eat it, so they didn't spray it, have to spray it all. That's the goal eventually, is that it's not to spray anything. So both of those are cases that I've done in the past. So we have our spray group and our non-spray group. Um, and then, like I said, we have different types of corn in each of our groups. So in each group, we would have one type of corn in both groups. And then we'd have another type of corn in both groups. And then another, it would go all the way down. So in order to compare the differences between spray and non-spray, we want to have that same type of corn and compare it to it from non spray and compare it to that same type of corn in spray. So it would go through. Um, we also control for a lot of other variables. So it was not, we did not use AT tests, um, but you could in this case. Um, it would be an example of what you could run it with. So um, in this case, you wanted, wanted to compare data from multiple time points, possibly. In this case, it's spray versus non spray. It can be multiple time points. So, the example I'm going to give is the same individual's reaction time were tested before and after drinking two years. So, that's another example of what it would be used. Um, so, this is non independent data because you are testing the same individuals or the same type of form um, on both different values uh, or both different groups. So they're clearly going to be linked and similar in some way. So you have to assume that they're not independent. Uh, so what, and this is called a pair T test that we're going to use. So in this case, uh, it, I, the way it works on the back end, you set it up exactly or very similar in the same way. Um, but it actually calculates a difference between those two groups in the simple subtraction. And then it compares that difference to the run. So that's all it's doing in the back end. So it will compare and see this, this, that difference, that subtraction is statistically significantly different. So. Um, so I already said that was our reaction time. So this is the example of before the same individual before or after the year. So in order to, um, and I'm going to um, so we have our difference between groups. So the first thing that you need to do when I give you plot is to actually subtract before minus the after. Um, and that's what we're going to have here. And then you actually make a QP plot of the difference. You'll see here it is there's no pattern. It's randomly distributed between those two bounds to go. And in this case, there are only 20 operations. So if it was not normal, we could not run this particular test. There it is a so it is it has a normal data that you're using a normal over normal test called parametric. If it is not normal, it's called a non So in this case, we were using a parametric test. If it was not normal, we would be using a non so you, I'm not going to go over that in this particular case is a fair but I'm going to go over a normal one for a standard piece that would go on for data. I think it's a good time. I think that if you have data that is not going to be able to use that at the beginning of the normal, you can change that. No, they're not related. No. no. So, so there are different assumptions for uh, so our two groups is independent. 
in those in those two. So one of the big, one of the big problems is it is it is it all the all the oxygen out of the water, water, water and then fish can't survive. So that's what so that's what we'll be looking at here. We'll see if they are different from one another. The uh Mark Grayson versus the uh the the lady the lady bird lake. So I so I already wrote this and I won't try to do this. The number, the number of observations is 279, and you'll you'll hopefully you'll know, you know how to use that. So what I'm asking, so what I'm asking you here is check the amount you use the plot. Um. So so and then and I, actually, I actually forgot to tell you some comments. Fine, fine. So that might be a good thing. Actually, actually. So so check you can check your work. So so and then we'll see. You want to check? You want to check your own bearings? 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 Then you want to then you want to run the heat test. And if you can print the top of that, that's what I'm happy. I don't expect. I don't expect you to be done. But you can always you can always try it. Um. I believe I have it. I if I if I haven't done it already, I think I have. Can you go with the the And you'll see every other day that we work with that. Exactly. 